in this tutorial let's see all about pgm hole principle okay i think everyone knows pgms live in their nests so let us assume that nests are pgm holes and pgms are those birds okay taking an example better to take an example such that there are okay here is an example there are six pgms and four pgm holes so these are the pgm holes and we need to insert or place these six pigeons try to place them if you place one here one here one here one here we are left with two and we need to place those two at anywhere such that which causes them to increase in number see if i place it here they become two so we'll be placing more than one in a single pigeon hole okay that is what all the statement is about for m greater than n if m is the number of pigeons occupying n holes then two or more pigeons occupy the same pigeon hole that's it right if there are six pigeons and four holes then at least two of them two of the pigeon holes are occupied by more than two oh at least one sorry at least one of them is occupied by more than two hence this is called as a pigeon hole principle guys i hope everyone understood what i was just saying to you about okay this pgn hole principle was clear now let us take a small example on some other thing in a group of 367 people 367 people there must be at least two people with the same birthday as we have only 366 days in a year at max it is possible only 366 days so there is at least one guy who is the 367th guy who will be having the same birthday on the other day i hope everyone understood this video in the next video we'll be discussing all about relations so stay tuned for the next video thank you guys thanks for watching